Howdy interwebs, it's Jason Lewis here, and today on the buildup of this old Mustang, we're gonna be actually focusing our attention over here on the 302 engines, oiling and water pumping systems. Now, since this little guy is gonna be getting some boost from a YN supercharger, the guys over at Holly Tech Support Line suggest that you use a higher output oil pump. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a higher output water pump on just for good measure. Come on in, check this out. So here's the basic rundown of how the oiling system works on a small block Ford. First, the crank and the engine turns in a clockwise motion or a clockwise rotation if you're looking at it from the front, which in turn spins the cam camshaft, which is about here, which has a gear on the end of it that you could see right down inside here as the crank turns, the cam turns, and that gear turns. Now that gear meshes up with this gear on the bottom of the distributor shaft. Now the distributor will turn in a counterclockwise motion and fire the spark plugs. And this is just where it starts to get cool because at the bottom of the distributor shaft is a quarter inch hex that fits onto the top of a rod down in the bottom of there that drives the oil pump. So as you slot this thing in here, now of course I'm not, I don't have this timed yet because we're not driving it, but this now turns, the crank turns, the camshaft is turning, which is in turn turning the rotor on the distributor, which is turning the actual rotor at the top here, plus that hex is now driving the oil pump, which is sitting down inside the block here and moving oil through your engine. It's pretty trick. Now to give you an example of how much oil is being moved by the oil pump and how little effort it takes, you take a socket with a quarter inch hex end, line that up on the top of the rod that drives the oil pump. Now this is the stock oil pump in there and you could just spin this with your fingers and you could actually see the oil just spewing out here. It's pretty cool how much that moves. Now we're not just gonna take this apart and swap oil pumps, we're actually gonna swap oil pans out too. Not just because this pan has been hammered over the years sitting on pallets and finally making its way into my garage, but because this is out of a SN95 Mustang with a rear sump, we're gonna switch it to a front sump pan that'll fit into our old large Marge here, early Mustang. So first up, you want to drain the fluids out of your engine. I've already done that, so now we'll buzz the bolts off the bottom of this thing, drop the pan off. Now that we've got the pan off, let's flip this thing over, and I'll show you what we got going on under here. Oh, well, I guess I better catch that coolant. <laughs> Just when you think that you've drained everything, you haven't drained everything. So there's the stock oil pump. And here is the pickup tube down to the actual pickup, which sat into the rear sump. That's why that is so far back there. And we're gonna have to change that to the front sump. So we have a pan and I got a new pickup that'll work with that pan. There's a Canton pan, front sump pan down there. There's that shaft we were spinning earlier that connects to the bottom of the distributor. So let's pull this stuff off and throw the new one on. Now it's obvious that you want this seal surface really clean. Now I'm just taking a little bit of reducer and alternating between my rag and a little scotch bright here just to get all of the old residue off because the cleaner you get that, the better chance you have of getting a good seal with your new gasket and not leaking. And that would be nice. Okay, so you're gonna take your oil pump the new gasket and the drive rod. And we'll go ahead and put that in the spot that it should live in. Line this up. And we can just use our old bolts that held the other pump in place. And fasten this thing down. All right, now it's time to put the new pickup on, and that gets a new gasket as well. Use the original bolts here as well. 
Tighten those down. Okay, nice and solid. Now I bought this pan and this pickup as a kit, so it should fit, but you just wanna make sure, so we're gonna test fit it. Make sure that the pickup goes down into the galley correctly, which it looks like it does, and that it doesn't hit the bottom of the pan. And we look to be completely in the clear. Here's a good example. So now that you can see that this surface is pretty clean and ready to make a good seal with our new gasket and our new pan, I use a little bit of a gasket sealant, gasket cinch, anything will do. It's just what they had at the local parts store. And I'll just put a thin coat of this all the way around. to make sure that the gasket, once I get it in there, doesn't go anywhere. And now that you have that done, you can come along and install your gaskets. And they'll stick real good. They'll stay in place with this stuff. You now, this one, as you can see, will rest, will tuck down inside here, and likewise on the other side over this way. What I'm gonna do, and what they recommend, is just at these corners, so at the corner here, at the corner here, and in the back on the same thing, you're gonna take a little bit of silicone and actually fill this area up and seal this just a little bit. And that's what's gonna keep that corner from leaking. So I'll put that there, a little bit on the other side over here, and that's it. And you tuck these things down inside there. And then get this wedged into this little seal here. All right, now you want to carefully install your oil pan. Make sure that the sump goes down inside where it belongs. And then we want it to sit down and seal. All right, so I'm just gonna start with the larger bolts in the corner and just start getting those threaded. Being careful not to cross thread anything. Now all I'm doing here is just literally snugging these down finger tight just so that they're on the flange. And we'll come back through and torque these. Butterfingers. Okay, now that everything's just kind of snug down, everything looks pretty good. Seals look like they're gonna seat in okay. You're gonna snug the quarter inch bolts at 108 inch pounds, starting from the center out. So, get busy. Okay. Now you want to go through these a couple of times. It's going to take a while. So now we have all the small bolts torqued at 108 inch pounds. Now it's time to do the four corner bolts at 132 inch pounds. Double check. Everything looks good. There's a nice little push out at the bottom or at the corners of each of these. 
And that's it, I'm pretty happy. Pan's installed. Let's flip this thing back over and take a look at it. And more coolant, or just goop. Yuck. That's all right, I guess we'll get it out now. Come on, girl. It's like holding the bangs of a drunk girl. She's puking. All right, that's enough. Uh, pull it together, time to puke and rally. All right, so there you have it. High volume oil pump installed. Front sump oil pan with the expanded capacity. I think this is a seven quart, done, ready to rock. Now all I'm gonna do is just bolt on the new water pump, which is pretty straightforward, new gasket, bolt it back on, and hopefully the next time you see me working on this engine, it's to be bolting on the supercharger. So until next time, enjoy your drive.